The light combat aircraft Tejas Mark 1A took its maiden flight from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's Nashik facility in the presence of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. Following its maiden test flight, the Tejas Mark 1A received a water cannon salute at the runway. These warplanes are replacing the aging MiG-21 fighter jets, which were retired by the Indian Air Force. The IAF is now expected to receive its first LCA Tejas Mark 1A aircraft by the end of October. The state-owned HAL has established the third production line with an aim to fast-track deliveries of the fighter jets to the Indian Air Force. The facility will help the firm to supply 180 LCA Mark 1A aircraft ordered by the Indian Air Force by 2032-33. The facility, which has the capacity to produce eight aircraft per annum, can be extended to 10 aircraft per year. Inaugurating the project, Rajnath Singh stated that HEL's model would serve as a benchmark for all other industries. Today, when I तो मेरा सीना गर्व से चौड़ा हो गया उनकी उड़ान रक्षा क्षेत्र में भारत की मैं मानता हूं मैं इस रूप में देख रहा था यह भारत की आत्मनिर्भरता की उड़ान है यह भारत के सेल्फ रिलायंस की एक फ्लाइंग है द तेजस मार्क 1ए वेरिएंट इज एन एडवांस्ड मल्टी रोल फाइटर जेट द इंडिजिनस 4.5 जनरेशन ऑल वेदर कॉम्बैट एयरक्राफ्ट these fighter jets are designed for deployment in high-threat aerial environments. The Tejas Mark 1A boasts of several upgrades over the Tejas Mark 1 version, including AESA radar, advanced electronic warfare suit with a jammer, and beyond visual range capabilities. A homemade digital fly-by-wire flight control computer has been integrated into the Tejas jet. These fly-by-wire systems replace mechanical flight controls in an aircraft with an electronic interface. The combat aircraft has about nine hard points to carry different types of weapons, including the Israeli-built Darby missiles and the indigenous Astra missile. The aircraft is capable of air defense, maritime reconnaissance and strike missions. This is the 10th. The aircrafts are going to get ready one after another. In a couple of months, we will have uh, the 12, 12 aircraft ready mm. and we have four engines. So I think uh, the effort from our side has been to build these aircraft, put the engines, fly them and get them ready. That's what we are doing. And uh, as far as the weapon integration is concerned, we have done the weapon integration, you know, the computer talking to the missile and so on. So that is done. But uh, we need to do the testing. So that's the phase we are in. And uh, we are very optimistic that uh, in the coming months that will happen. The Indian Air Force is operating much below its sanctioned strength of 42 fighter squadrons. Currently, it has only 29 squadrons. In September, two MiG-21 squadrons were retired at a decommissioning ceremony at the Chandigarh Air Force Station. The delay in the delivery of Tejas fighter jets has further frustrated the Indian Air Force. In February 2021, the Defence Ministry signed a 48,000 crore deal with HAL for procuring 83 Tejas Mark 1A jets for the IAF. The delivery was to begin in February 2024. However, it has faced delays due to slow deliveries of F-404 engines from America's GE Aerospace. HAL is planning to complete the delivery of these aircraft to the IAF within the next four years. fighting so long and so hard that they don't know what the f they're doing.